Hey guys, it's Ami Amore. Today I'm going to show you how to make this crochet, sword, and shield. They're accessories for Link, but you can make them for any small Ami Groomy doll. Alright, what are we waiting for? Let's get started! Now for the sword hilt with blue yarn, you're going to go ahead and make a slip knot. And then you're going to chain six. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And now we are going to go ahead and slip stitch back two across. So that's one. And then our next one, slip stitch again. Okay, now we are going to go ahead and do two chains. That's one and two. Then we're going to do one slip stitch back. Okay, and now in the remaining three um, chain, we're going to go ahead and do slip stitch in each one. So that's one two and three okay so now we're going to repeat the pattern again we're going to chain six one two three four five six and then you're going to slip stitch back two across so that's one and two chain two one two slip stitch back one again and then you're going to slip stitch back across three. So that's one, two, and three. And then you're going to cut off a super long tail and fasten off. Okay, so this is how it looks like. But they're mirror images of one another. And what I want to do is I want this point to also point downward. So I'm just going to flip it down this way while the other part remains. So they're both pointing downward. And then I'm going to make this go to the back. And I'm going to lay them on top of each other. And then I'm going to go ahead and sew it down. Okay, so now we can go ahead and sew it down. Okay, so at the end, this is how your sword hilt should look like. This is going to be the handle, and this is where the blade will come out of. For the sword blade, you are going to go ahead and chain nine across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And for this, you'll want to crochet a little bit loosely. And we're going to do our slip stitch across for our very first row. Okay, so you should have eight slip stitch at the very end. Okay, so now when we get to the end of this row, I am going to go ahead and chain one and turn and I want to do slip stitch across again. So go ahead and go slip stitch all the way across and the more loosely you crochet will be better so that the stitches are not too tight. So this is my row two. And then for rows three and four, I will want to do the same exact thing of eight slip stitch all the way across. So go ahead and work up your stitches and I will meet you at the end row four. So this is how your sword blade should look like after four rows of slip stitch. And what I'm going to do is chain one and turn. And I want to for fold this sword blade in half. And I'm going to sew shut with slip stitch across. And I want to go through both layers so that it will close, close it shut. So go ahead and continue to sew it shut with slip stitch all the way across. Okay, so now when we're at the end of this very last row, you're going to yarn over 
and then you're going to go in to the very top, yarn over and come back out and you're going to finish off the half double crochet stitch and cut off a long tail and you have created the blade. The blade completed and here's the sword hilt right here. You want to sew them together. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and sew them together. And here is our sword completed. Now for the shield, you are going to do six single crochet stitch into the magic ring. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, and we're going to use our stitch marker. Now for round two, it's just two in each stitch all the way around and you'll have 12 single crochet stitches at the end. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. For round three, our pattern is going to be two, and then one, 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 two, one, one, one. Repeat the pattern all the way around, and you will have fifteen single crochet stitches at the end. So that's one and two, and then one, two, and three. Okay, repeat the pattern again. One and two, one and two, and three. Okay, repeat the pattern one last time. One, two, one, two, and three. Okay, this is going to be the back of the shield. So you can go ahead and cut off a long tail. Okay, and fasten off. Now we are going to do the front of the shield and then I want you to do the exact same thing up to round three but do not, um, do not fast enough. So go ahead and repeat rounds one, two, three once again. Okay, so this is, this is, this is going to, need to be the back of our shield, but I've created another one and this is going to be the front of the shield. And we did round three and 18 um, single crochet stitches. And now when I go to the next stitch, actually, I am going to go ahead and get my gray yarn and I'm going to make a slip stitch here for this one. Then I'm going to go ahead and pull it through right here. All right, so now for um, this row right here, what I want to do is I'm going to slip stitch into my next stitch. Okay, and then I am going to um, do a chain three, one, two, three, and then I'm going to do a slip stitch into the very first chain right here. Okay, and that will make a picot right there. And then in my next five stitches, I'm going to do a slip stitch. So that's one, two, three, four and five. Okay, and then I'm going to repeat it again. I'm going to chain three and this is a picot by doing a um, slip stitch right here. And then slip stitch in my next five. That's one, two, three, four and five. Okay, I'm going to chain three, one, two, three, slip stitch into the very first chain there, and then slip stitch in the rest of the blue stitches across. Four and five, and then I'm going to fasten, cut, and leave a very long tail. Okay, I want to make sure to cut off the blue as well. Okay, 
Okay, and here is the front of our shield completed. And then I will want to actually have it have a strong structure. So this one I'm actually going to go ahead and sew on to the back of here so that it's, it becomes a strong shield. So go ahead and sew them together. And here is our shield completed. You can sew the sword into one hand. And on the other hand, you can sew the shield. Or if you prefer, you can also sew the shield onto the back of his body. That's the one that I usually like to do. So it makes it easier for the doll to carry his shield around. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I plan to come out with more, so be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time!